Hi, my name is Jonathan Clark. Welcome to another Ableton Q&A video. This video uh, is going to be designed to teach you how to insert a new track into the middle of a mix that you've already programmed out in Arrangement View. Now this, this video kind of presumes that you have already watched my Making a DJ Mix um, video. So it kind of builds on, it builds on that. It's an extra step that you might find useful. Okay, so basically when you are trying to add a track into the middle of a mix, what you're going to have to do in general terms is you're going to have to use a, um, a function called insert silence. And so it kind of splits the, uh, splits the mix up, splits arrangement view, widens it out, and leaves, inserts a new gap where you can play with, uh, with adding new material. But once you've done that, there's three different approaches to dealing with how you're going to add it. Um, first of all, are you going to, as you'll see, when we create this silence, are you going to mix the new track in where whichever track has been split, you're going from the split track into your new track and then back into the split track? That's an easy way to do it, but we don't necessarily want the easy way. Uh, a second way is that you could bring in a third channel and you could use that. Or the third way is that once you've inserted the silence, you split a track, move a chunk into the opposite channel, and then you've got more room to work with. That makes no sense right now. So let's let's do it on screen. It'll make more sense. Okay. So here we have a um, here we have a radio show that's already mostly programmed out. It's one of the older shows, 183. And let's tab over to session view. And Aaron Mills Andromeda is not in this yet. Now let's say instead of adding it at the end, we want to put Aaron Mills um, into this gap right here. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is highlight a bunch of bars and make some room. I'm actually, and it's often easier to highlight down underneath. Okay, so let's highlight that much room. We go to create, insert silence, boom. Okay, so what's happened if we zoom in here a little bit? is this section from here to here, basically this song used to be attached, and if we were to go through here and go delete time, it would rejoin it. But we want to bring that Aaron track in. So let's uh, Aaron Mills. Okay, so what's happening here? Now, we've still got a gap here, that's no good. The neat thing about this is that you can extend clips that have been shortened. So for this clip, if I go like this, boom, I've just created an extra bar here. Well, that's actually the exact same thing as this bar here. I can do it this way too, okay? But um, since we started out like this, let's, let's extend the whole thing. You can only go so far, obviously, because then you hit the end of the song. Okay, so if we wanted to, we could also shorten something. So let's shorten that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete a bunch of bars here just for fun. Delete time. Okay. And now I can re-extend what I had shortened. And all of a sudden, look at this. Now you've got something to play with. And that's what I was talking about is by shortening and adding after inserting some silence is I could now take this and I could do my usual... Like, you know how I was, uh, if, if you've watched my Making a DJ Mix video, then you can see that, roughly speaking, I'm going to do something like this. I won't actually test this, who knows if this is going to work or not. Um, something like that. So, as you're playing through here, this one starts fading out, Aaron Mills starts fading in, plays through Aaron Mills, starts fading out, and then this Christian Varela starts fading back in again, and then we go into our next track. Is that the best option? No, probably not, because chances are, if you're inserting a new track, you don't want to hear another track cut in half and played twice. Okay, so let's hit a whole bunch of Control Zs, Control Z, and we'll zoom out and see what our second option is. 
the second option would to be to bring in a third channel. So I'm going to tab over to session view. You can see how I've got this laid out a little more intuitively in session view than arrangement view, but basically there's two channels, a left and a right. Same thing here, a left and a right. Because we're working this in arrangement view, it's not actually feeding to a DJ mixer. It's not so critical that these match left and right on a DJ mixer. We could easily add a third channel. So we could right click, sorry, we could right click here, insert audio track, okay? And since we've inserted it in session view, if we flip over to arrangement, it's also there, okay? So what we could do is we could put that, when we bring uh, Aaron Mills in, we could bring him into a third channel, cut this part out, shorten this track so we're able to do some deleting, like I showed you in the last step. We're going to delete a bunch of time here. Edit. Come on. Delete time. Okay, and then we can overlap Aaron Mills with this Fran Guzman track. Okay, and then we're going to have to make sure we have some automation abilities. So, okay, so what we would do here is start this one fading out. We would have Aaron Mills starting to fade in as Kristen's track fades out, and then as Aaron Mills's track fades out, the Fran Guzman one comes in, okay? So as you play through this from left to right, this track will be playing, it'll fade into this one, it'll fade into this one. That's a better approach than splitting a track in half and trying to insert into the middle. But there's actually a third approach too, which may be more beneficial if you are trying to keep your screen space tidied up, you want less complexity. So I'm going to hit Control Z here a bunch of times and undo what I've done. And let's say we've gone back to the original. Yeah, we've gone back to our original option. So I'm going to highlight because I want to insert a bunch of bars. Okay. I'm now going to delete this section. Okay. This. So with this Aaron Mills track, obviously, if I want to go from this to this, that's easy because they're in separate channels. It's easy to mix from one channel to the other. It's not easy to mix from one channel into itself. You can't because things are going to overlap. So what's our option? Well, let's think about this. If I had on this track, if I had made a cut, delete time, okay, now I've got two separate pieces to this clip, all right? Now, how much did I delete? Let's control Z and take a look. I deleted two sections, basically, okay? Um, moving forward, redo. Okay, what I can do is take this piece up, move it into the other track, and remember how I cut two sections out? Let's move this over by two sections. Let's extend this, and the piece that we deleted a minute ago is back, okay? So, if you look at this, actually let's zoom in even further. Basically what we've done is we've sliced the track and managed to move it up into a different channel. Is this going to play seamlessly? Good. Okay, well it didn't because I had my volume down. Let's try that again. Okay, so why does this work? Well basically this piece here is what's to the left of this piece. If I were to extend further, you can see it's exactly the same thing. Okay, so at this point, going out of channel 2, we should be at 0 decibels. Going into channel 1, we should be at 0 decibels. Okay. So we have a nice seamless transition. Basically, it's this song going into itself, so it should sound normal. 
Okay, let's... Uh, now, we're not going to put fades on either end of this because it's as if this piece is playing right through. If I drag that down, that's the same as if that clip is just playing straight through. It just happens to stop in one channel and start fresh in another channel. Now that I've done this, well, that's already extended all the way, but it doesn't matter because what I can do is move my Aaron Mills track in and now let's say I am fading this out Oops. okay so now you see what's going to happen as you play through this track is playing at full volume Boom, when it hits this point, it switches into this channel, but it's not going to sound any different to the listener because it's still playing at full volume. Then, starting at this point, the green track is fading out as the white track is fading in. Okay, I won't play through that whole thing. Anyway, it's the same concept as my making a DJ mix video. And then it's going to play through Andromeda, it'll start fading out, and Fran Guzman will start fading in. And so that way, I've basically uh, inserted a track into an odd configuration. Like normally, normally we're going back and forth, left, right, left, right, left, right, whatever. And obviously you can't have two lefts in a row. So that's all we're doing is we're using the two useful simple functions insert silence, boom, insert something, and then we're pulling the ends of clips back and forth. And then if we need to, at any time, we can delete time. Okay? Another option is uh, in this case, let's say I had wanted to put it there duplicate. You can highlight, I'm going to highlight basically from here to here I can go edit duplicate time and it makes a second set okay so basically all these different parts of tracks you can uh, you can cut blocks out you can create blocks you can drag them around you can extend the ends and that gives you a whole lot of flex flexibility to do all sorts of fun stuff okay hopefully this makes sense to you Enjoy your uh, your production work.